What's going on, everybody? We're here at Aquashella Orlando 22. Getting ready to walk through the Aqua Crib. I'm going to take you on a journey around the trade show today. Show you what we see. If you're not here or if you are here, this is the entrance. Some laser shows, some light shows. Little underwater theming. Feels like you're in the ocean, kind of. Up here we have the iconic UV art. The floor is lit by Aqualites. Feels like you're kind of underwater a little bit. Let me know how the audio is. You guys got audio? Yeah, what's going on? This is not Mark, but he was here yesterday. Let me know how the audio is. Can you guys hear me? Good morning, Hans. Uh, this is a really cool jungle kind of room, jungle theme. This is the entrance. Yeah, sounds good, great. We got some laser shows, we got some UV art. We have a digital waterfall over here. Do a little 360 in this room. Go I'm gonna do a full walkthrough. Show you the aqua crib, all the vendors, fish tanks, owls, lizards, turtles, all kinds of crazy stuff in there. Audio loud and clear. All right, awesome. iPhone's amazing. Second room, we got some UV discus. We got a bridge with a pond. We got a glowfish tank here. Jamming, jamming, jamming. Yeah, a really cool festival here in Orlando. One of my favorite parts about this show is that it's at the Gaylord Palms which is a pretty amazing uh, venue. Awesome swimming pools, hot tubs, restaurants. There's CJ getting some filming. The next room we're walking into, feels a little bit like Avatar kind of in here. These low hanging flowers, if you will. Kind of walking through the flowers. Fish tank in the wall, There's some toy. This is just the uh, entry, so not even to the floor yet. We got some UV art along the wall, and then the iconic Fritz wall, American flag style. Pretty cool, it's a little different. A little more, some more intro. Fish on black. We got some laser shooting up. Looks like the mermaid is not here. Mermaid chair. Oh, and we got a reef tank over here. I see a Telestraila. Check out this guy. <coughs> hmm. That's pretty cool, right? Inside the aqua crib. And then here's the exit to the trade show floor. A little more art on the way out. Got so this is the intro. So you walk in, you see saltwaterquarium.com, top shelf aquatics. We'll start down here on the left with the uh, t-shirt design for the year and the swag. There's Greg, say hi, what's up? Over here we got the swag booth. This is the design for the year. I don't know if it's available online or only at the show. The 
Say hi. There's the man himself, Sean Hale, Evie. I don't know if you know those guys. Pretty cool. Walk around the other side. There's a few contest tanks going on over here. There's C Cam, say hi. First aisle. Lots and lots and lots to see so much I don't even I don't even attempt to see it all. <laughs> so this is the uh, American Shrimp Contest where people it's kind of like a cow show. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but different kinds of shrimp, all kinds of different designs. American Shrimp Contest, tanks all set up here. I don't know if there's probably 50 tanks in here. We've got Carib Sea Life Rock and some, I don't know, some more shrimp, a shrimp vendor, I guess, over there. This is Life Rock, one of our best selling rock products. Create your instant aquascape with all the different designs. Say hi, this is Carib Sea. There we go. So check all these out. We carry all of their products on the website. You can instantly build your aquascape with some of their new configurations. Keep it simple, make it easy, and have a really cool reef tank. I mean, look at that thing. That's just a couple pieces put together. A couple of their arch kits. It's no longer just white, square, round rocks. Pretty sweet. Check out Caribou Sea if you're into if you're looking for some rock. Next contest over here is the United Flower Horn Association contest. There's some wild flower horns over here. Here's an example of the grand champion. You want to see the grand champion? This is the grand champion. Water's a little dirty, but it's a big fish in a small tank. Pretty sweet. Next vendor selling all kinds of aquascaping for freshwater, a lot of driftwoods. See people walking around with wood. That's how far the show goes. The traffic's kind of light right now, but still a lot of people here. Yesterday was mobbed with people. Mag floats over here if you need an aquarium cleaner. You should check them out. It's probably one of the best selling mag float. Little beer pong in the corner. You never know what you might see at Aquashella. Could be beer pong. We got Marine Land Spectrum brands over here. Glowfish tanks, <clears throat> canister filters, smaller tanks. Hang on back filters, Tetris full line. It's amazing attendance here. This year, a lot of people wanted to come out to Florida, enjoy the weather. It's been about 85, 88 all day, all week. Got my art, Sam Sanchez over here. Next aisle, we have kids playing with Female betas. It's awesome to see kids, tons of kids at the hobby, right? Family friendly venue. Awesome betas over here. Let's go look at the wall. It's really amazing what some of these people bring. It looks like we have a little educational speech going on on the floor over here by Owasa, I think. It's a demo and event schedule. Pretty cool that it's right in the middle of the floor. It looks like the, the Wabu Kasu demo. I'm guessing that's some kind of... Oh, there you go. Wabi Kusa. 
I think that has something to do with art. For you freshwater guys. All right, so we'll continue on. Flipples over here. Wish we had something like this in Sweden. Yeah, right? Fluval has some amazing selection of nanos. We carry a, a lot of what they sell on the website if you're looking for a small 30 gallon and under fish tank. Also, Aquion's here. The Elos guys. Got their stuff. Say hi. Woo! What's up, YouTube? I love YouTube. <laughs> And then here we have our booth, saltwaterquarium.com. A lot of freshwater love. So we got a new app, iOS and Android. You can download the app at Shop Direct, so you don't have to search around for what you're looking for. We got a couple products on sale, dry goods, livestock. This is the whole coral room over here to the right. I'll probably do that last just because it's so much to see and I gotta rebalance the camera for the filter. So here's what we're doing this week. We got Greg hanging out here. We have a, that rock go back to the booth. Oh, the rock for uh, Elos. Okay, I can walk back. This is our display tank. It's full of ORA clownfish, which are now available on the website. Uh, it's also, this is, everything in this tank is aquacultured in Florida. And we have some dry goods here on sale. That's Mark, he runs Chicago. Say hi. I'll go back to the rock. What do you want to see specifically? Sorry, I was trying to find a, a time when it wasn't as busy where I could walk around and show stuff, but there's just lots of people. Here's some of the rock formations that they have available called Aqua Roach. We do not have these available on the website. It was a branchy white rock. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure which one that is. Somebody wanted to see the branchy white rock. Might have been this one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Is that the small piece? On the right. All right, there you go. We have a bigger one of this one, and we have a big piece yeah. of one back when they did the show. Uh, brand? What brand? It's Aqua Roach? Aqua Roach, yes. Aqua Roach. Aqua All of that looks amazing, he says. Yeah. That's beautiful. What brand? Yeah. No coral. Um, no, there is coral vault. It's in the coral section. We didn't get there yet. We just went through the beginning in the first aisle. Go down aisle two here in a second. Sea chays over here, gingerbread corals and fish over here, and then aisle two. Down this way, we got the reef pie guy setting up his own open source controller. You're into that. Another advertisement. Here's Hannah, the leader in uh, water testing for our industry. Everything they have on display. There's the Hannah booth. Say hi to Kevin. He runs Hannah. Jeffy says, what's up, all? Any new equipment this year? Uh, soon, we'll have some new new stuff. Soon, soon, some new, new stuff. This is the newest Marine Master. It's waterproof with data logs and floats. Uh, it can be updated down the road. New parameters are added, so that's a good feature. This is all the same way to the check -in. Ah, thank you. There you go, Kev. So, yeah, they got some cool stuff coming. I can't really talk about it yet. Uh, there's a... Who's Reef Pie Booth? What's up with that controller? You know, I don't know. It's kind of like... Um, from what I saw, it looked like someone just getting started, really, to be honest with you. It didn't look like it was... I mean, look at the booth presentation. Didn't look like it was fully built out yet, but something they're working on. 
Uh, we did a video. Stay tuned for a video on that. Mark Callahan will be doing a video probably look for it like Tuesday, Wednesday this week. We interviewed the guy to get a little bit more info on it. Um, this Aqua Life booth, these guys had about 20 pallets to set up their booth starting on Thursday. They were here like 10 guys. Took forever to set up that booth. But here's a uh, Tank Life Apparel. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I've not seen these guys before. Looks like swag, t-shirts, that kind of thing. I'll go walk around this booth and then go back up the other aisle. So there's lots of different things. Fresh water, salt water, livestock. Nice shirt. Ooh, dang. Fish, turtles. Yeah. It's cool because there's a lot of hobbyists here from all spectrums. We obviously want them to uh, consider salt water instead of fresh water or consider moving over. But aquarium people are aquarium people. Quantum trying to get into the market. Full array of salts and supplements. Over here we got fish, all kinds of cool fish. Wow. These guys got all kinds of more fish. This place is loaded with fish. You usually don't see that many fish for sale, but tons of fish to this year. This is the kids' corner, complete with mermaids. Woo! There you go. You never know what you might find at Aquashella. Moving on. All kinds of terrariums. Pretty good picture coming in all. Oh, yeah, man, thank you. Good service here. Terrariums, all kinds of. Hey, good. All kinds of cool stuff to see. You guys should really come out to an Aquashella if you haven't yet. If you're a freshwater person, saltwater person, just like the hobby, don't like the hobby, you like turtles, pretty much everything's represented here as far as aquarium related hobbies. What's going on? We got 70 guys watching so far. You guys want me to cover something specific more in depth? Let me know. There's just so much to see. I, I'll try to give you a good subset, but. What are they called? Killifish? Rainbow fish? Uh, Dr. Tim's here. Saltwater supplements. One and only. Waste away. First defense. He's got some new products coming out. Any new lights? Uh, not released at this show. Here's some new test kits. Similar to Sally Furt. More on the low end. Here we go. It's Dr. Tim's. We got 80 people watching. So check those out. We cover, we carry just about every product they make at this point. Go to the saltwater section. Yeah, I'm going to get there last because I got to put the lens on and recalibrate the, uh, the camera. But I will definitely go there and spend some time there because that's my favorite part. Go back up this aisle. Here's a reef tank or, well, saltwater tank. Look at that starfish. Show us what has intrigued you most. I will, I will. Look at this guy. Yeah, I wish we had some more shows in the Northeast. I've been trying to get a Pennsylvania show or a DC show, maybe somewhere in New York. I haven't been able to get that accomplished yet. But there's more corals over there. We'll go to last, walk up and down the coral section. I got one more big row to cover and then we'll do it. Face painting going on in the middle of the floor. 10 foot video wall. I was hoping to play some PlayStation on it later tonight. Or some Nintendo Switch Planet Aquariums. You guys need a custom aquarium we sell. We can get you pretty much anything they make. Yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte would be an awesome spot for an Aquashella. Corals are useless with no good lay. I agree. 
Lighting is definitely key. Uh, I don't see, this is not really a show where you're gonna see product releases. I mean, it's possible we see some, we're gonna be next weekend, I'll be in Colorado for Restock with Jake Adams and the boys up there. Some of the larger vendors are exhibiting there, Ecotech, Neptune. It'll be interested to see what they, uh, what they release, if anything. Um, it used to be Macna, where all the new equipment came out. Now, I don't know if there really is any rhyme or reason as to when things get released. Here's the water mixing station, Aqua FX sponsored. We got some super powerful RO units setting up, making a few hundred gallons an hour of RO water by Aqua FX. Say hi. Doing good. So I should check their line out. Coral Fish 12G booth. He's not here. Flip Aquatics. And then this is the Aqua YouTube Creator booth where all the people's favorite YouTubers meet and greet happens. Right now it's Corey from Aquarium Co-op. I don't know if you know him, the freshwater guy. Seems to be super popular these days. Giving away t-shirts. Got some creators over here. Pond guys, saltwater guys, freshwater guys. All the major YouTubers, pretty much. A lot of them, let's say a lot of them. We got Brett Raymers, new training videos from Tagged. I got this guy called Bitfins, who's just starting out with digital aquarium NFTs. Got a little work to do with the graphics on that one. And this is the last row before we go through the coral section. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. And what's really nice about this Orlando event is that the Gaylord Palms for 200 bucks a night. If you're not booking at the trade show rate, it's usually like $420 for a room. But under the trade show rate, it's 199 bucks a night. Amazing swimming pools, hot tubs, water slides, lazy river, very kid friendly. So much stuff to do, it's just, it's awesome. Max Spec, uh, yeah, they don't do booths anymore. I haven't seen Max Spec at a trade show since pre-COVID. There's a lot of brands that don't uh, partake anymore for whatever reason. So I can't really show you much from Max Spec because I haven't seen a single Max Spec product here. This is PNW Customs. Uh, we just brought in their micro reef, 40 ounce reef tank. Sorry, thank you. It's available on the website. Check it out. Built-in heater, light, return pump. Just another way to explore the hobby, experiment with different things. We have them available online. If you're interested, just check them out. We got Seachem over here. We, cover, we, we carry just about everything they allow us to sell online. There are some products they don't allow us to sell like this. Doser is still local fish store only. Century Dose and a few other products that are called Aqua Vitro branded. They don't allow that to be sold online for whatever reason. I guess they think we're bad. I don't know. Um, all kinds of stories going on around here. This is uh, Ocean's Reef uh, raffle over here. Tons of stuff donated fish tanks, lights. We got food over here in the corner with no beer. I don't think I'd ever set one up without beer, but that's just me. We have all kinds of koi's and mollies, just tubs of fish going on in this corner. It's crazy what they have. Like you can literally just stock your pond. Come to Aqua Shello to stock your pond, right? Here's a talk going on. It's probably. Oh, that's Brett from Tanked. We'll give him two minutes.
Good, really good. All right. Let me get the uh, lens on. I'll walk you over the coral stuff. That's what we all came to see anyway, right? Dustin's fish tanks over here. Sarah guys, filter medias, foods. These are the guys that run Sarah US. All right, here we go. This coral bargain warehouse. These guys always got some crazy stuff. Check this tag. Crazy. I know. We are crazy. I'm glad we're not in business with you. Because I'd be broke all the time. So check out Coral Bargain Warehouse if you're a local fish store, sell local fish stores. Local fish stores. These guys got the good stuff. Check it out. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'll recover it. Coral vault spray here in the middle. Go down this aisle, see if I can get a shot of some of these tanks. Suanthids.com. I'm sure you guys know those guys. Now, if you're looking for some corals, Aquashella has the equivalent of Reef of Palooza in inventory for corals. this tank pretty awesome check out this tank this is exoticreefs.com rags for days colonies Montapora bags, Galax. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Because some people do start off Bombshell Creations. This is the main artist in charge of all the art for Aquashella. Say hi, Bombshell. Still on aisle one. Hey, good, man. How are you? Luis Reef. Pretty cool selection. This is Frost Corals. I don't know if you guys know Frost Corals. He's always got a lot of stuff at the show. Looks like he sold a lot, I'm guessing. I'll cover him after this corner. Here's some colonies. Are you sending the camera filter right now? Yeah, I'm using the camera. No. Yeah, definitely using the filter, the Orphic lens. Some clans. Colonies. Ophelia. Some torches. This is reef design. Over here in the corner, someone's doing crochet. I'll just show it because we're here, but. You never know what you'll find at Aquashella. Would you like a cro crocheted octopus? I got you. Oh, here's a cool. This guy did it right with the clams. He did the whiter light. Tanks full of clams.
pretty busy. A lot of these guys have customers shopping. Riptide Aquaculture. Lots of big vendors, lots of small vendors. Oh, camera fell. <laughs> better price. Do you get a better price to going to those type of conventions? Uh, as opposed to online, I, I believe you do, personally. You also get a price, a better price on Sunday. I mean, I don't even know where to start. There's just so many coral crags, colonies. I bought that coral over there. Yeah, okay, I'll see you at Reef of Blueza. Look for the saltwaterbrim.com booth. We have a partnership with a local vendor in Florida. Looks like we've sold out um, quite a lot of stuff uh, from yesterday to the day. Here's some of the stuff we brought. You're like empty. You're empty. Thank you. Looks amazing. Here's an idea of some of the prices. I believe that's for the whole row. And this is a, kind of a general section. Five for a hundred frags, anything in this tank. So five for a hundred, so 25 bucks a piece. Everything you see. No, oh, $20 a piece, sorry. Looks like you sold about half of it so far. Micro reef tanks, a couple other little things here. I'm gonna go show uh, another key vendor or two. Oh geez, look at this. Just smiling. Got some amazing stuff here. Strictly fish. Miami. So come check it out. If you're in the area, you want some of this stuff in your tank. We got some really cool stuff. Uh, thank you for the $20 donation. I will tell Mark to buy a frag with it. How about that? Thanks, Sammy. I appreciate the love. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You guys know Top Shelf Aquatics? He's probably the premier vendor here. These guys, Top Shelf Aquatics. Always bringing a lot of really cool stuff. It looks like half of it's gone by now.
Oh, look at that. Some crazy macro algae. Some SPS. Sean Hale. Blue Seas Aquarium. Check out this tank, guys. This tank's absolutely loaded. I don't even know what else to say, really. It's just colors in this tank are wild. I don't know. Do you, does it come through? The colors coming through well? I'm not sure I've seen a tank this full of stuff. Got a little more art and that's about it for the show guys so i appreciate you coming along for the ride saltwateraquarium.com uh, thank you very much